Okay, right now I'm going to tie a few one of my favorite stillhead nymphs. It's actually a big, big scud. Big, flashy pink scud. So uh, what I'm using here is a Dairiki 135 scud hook. Strong enough where it can hold stillhead. Uh, I start with a tungsten anodized pink bead. Put a little lead behind it. Secure it in there. Um, after that, I've, I've got my thread. It's a 140 denier UTC thread. I'm going to take a piece of 3X mono. It's going to be my ribbing material. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tie that on the far side of the hook. Go ahead and take that on back. Now as I bring my thread back, I'm actually going to go down the bend of the hook a little. Like so. After we get our thread tied in, we're going to go ahead and take a piece of spotted thin skin. I like to cut it kind of big for this fly, so it's going to be about two-thirds the gape of the hook from the shank to the point there. So going to take that and go ahead and tie her in on top, on top of the hook here. Take the thread back. Okay, after I get that tied in, I'm going to use a piece of flash, but on it, not just any flash. This is Magic Shrimp Foil from the Czech Republic. It's a big piece of flash that actually comes in different shades. This one is the shade of pink. Uh, it's actually really good stuff. I like it a lot. I'm going to go ahead and tie it up on top of the top of the hook here and take it on back as well. Okay, once my flash is tied in, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a piece of micro UV polar chenille, color UV hot, hot pink for this fly. Go ahead and tie that in as well. These are going to be the legs of our scud. I like the UV and I like the pink. It's a good combination. Makes this fly look real good. Okay, after we get that all tied in, you'll notice that up here between the material and the, and the uh, lead, got a little bit of a gap. I'm going to go ahead and fill that with thread so we get a nice even body with this fly. Okay, once I get her filled up, we can taper the body a little bit on this fly just to make it where the back's not as not quite as bulky as the rest of the body. Okay. But we're going to use a, a base of dubbing so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to take our thread to the back and we're going to use some UV pink shrimp dubbing. I'm going to go ahead and put it on thread and this is this is just going to be a nice base layer of, of dubbing for this fly. Probably have to apply it to the thread a couple of times here. Just going to bulk up this scud a little bit. I like to fish them a little bit bulky. Uh, the scuds uh, that I fish uh, for stillhead with they, they, uh, they tend to be a little flashy bright colors such as pink. Uh, this is probably my favorite variation here, the pink color uh, with the flash. It's kind of fun to tie. Fish enjoy it. Looks good in your box. All of the above. Okay, one more little bit of dubbing here. Now I'm actually going to take this dubbing and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave a little gap right behind the, the bead here. we got a lot of material coming forward. I don't want to crowd it. So we're going to leave that little gap. Okay, at that point we're going to bring our leg material forward which is the UV micro UV polar chenille. Okay we're gonna make five or six wraps. Alrighty, bring it forward, tucking it up behind that bead. Okay, now we're gonna bring our flash forward. Our magic shrimp foil. It's good stuff. Bring it forward, tie it off nice and tight behind that bead. Now our thin skin, we're going to stretch it forward. And pull it tight, kind of give it a little bit of stretch. We're going to tie that off behind the bead as well. Two on top, one in front, cinch it down nice and tight. 
Okay, at that point, I'm going to put a little half hitch in just to make sure we stay secure as I bring the ribbing material forward. Okay, now our mono rib. We're going to go ahead and segment this fly. Do it as evenly as we can. And tucking it up behind the bead as well. Now, pink scuds, I didn't know that Stillhead uh, were, were so fond of them. A friend of mine by the name of Devin Olson. He's a fantastic fisherman. He's part of Fly Fishing Team USA. He uh, mentioned to me that pink scuds do well for Stillhead. That was four years ago. I fished them on every trip I've taken since then. And I've done well. So we're going to do a double whip finish on this guy. Now we can put a little head seam in if we want to, but that's the finished fly right there. We can tuck those legs down. And those kind of flash in the sunlight and makes for a nice fly. There's the pink variation there. Another color that I really enjoy is the same, all the, all the same materials except for a base layer of dubbing using some lavender ice dub. Gives it a nice purple look. This is a hot pink painted bead instead of the anodized, which also works well. And for those who like chartreuse, of course, you can tie it up in a bright chartreuse color as well. So there you go. Good luck.